Something huge just dropped in the AI world. And here's the surprising part. It didn't come from OpenAI. It didn't come from Google. Instead, it came from a tiny startup in Singapore. They've just unveiled a new AI agent called HRM, and it might be the biggest breakthrough in reasoning we've seen in years. This isn't a story about bigger models, giant data sets, or scaling parameters into the billions. HRM is built differently. And somehow, this brain-inspired model is outsmarting AI systems that are more than four times its size. Why it's different. You see, most models, including ChatGPT, solve problems step by step in what's called chain of thought reasoning. That works until a single mistake shows up. Then the entire output can unravel. HRM takes a completely different approach. Instead of marching forward step by step, it thinks in loops, much like the human brain does when it revisits, rechecks, and refines its thinking. And the results it's producing are nothing short of shocking. And before you dismiss this as yet another tiny model beats GPT headline, this one actually holds up under scrutiny. That's because HRM is not a scaled-down large language model, a stripped-back transformer, or a slimmed-down version of ChatGPT. It's something entirely different. An AI system explicitly designed to mimic the layered decision-making strategy of the human brain. When most AI researchers say brain-inspired, it's more of a branding term. It's a neural network, so it's inspired by the brain. HRM goes way beyond that. It directly borrows the brain's hierarchical reasoning process, the way humans separate high-level strategy from low-level execution. And somehow, that architecture allows a model with just 27 million parameters to beat systems with 100 million and even billion-plus parameter counts. For perspective, GPT-1, OpenAI's first public large language model, had 117 million parameters. HRM has less than a quarter of that, and it's still winning key reasoning benchmarks. Here's the kicker. HRM outperforms Claude 3.7 and OpenAI's O3 Mini High model on reasoning benchmarks. Let's break down why this is significant. Most current models use chain of thought prompting, where the AI talks itself through the problem, like it's showing its work in a math problem. That can work, but one wrong step early on, and the final output is wrong. HRM skips this fragile chain entirely. Instead, it thinks more like a human. Plan strategically first, then execute the steps in rapid bursts. The secret sauce is that HRM has two modules that constantly communicate with each other. Number one, high-level planner. Think of this as the slow, deliberate, strategic brain. It figures out what kind of problem it's dealing with and maps out the big picture approach. Number two, low-level worker. This is the fast, efficient executor that follows the planner's instructions with precision. Picture it like a chess grandmaster working with a lightning-fast assistant. The master plans the moves. The assistant instantly executes them. And here's where it gets interesting. These two modules loop over and over. Planner creates a plan. Worker executes. Results go back to planner. Planner updates the strategy. Worker executes again. And this cycle continues until the final answer is ready. Because this looping process is built into HRM's core architecture, the model has something most AI systems lack. The ability to check and refine its reasoning mid-process. On the ARC AGI benchmark, essentially an IQ test for AI, HRM scored 40.3%. Compare that to Claude 3.7 at 21.2%, and OpenAI's O3 Mini High at 34.5%. That's not a tiny edge, that's a leap. 
and it gets even crazier. On hard and extreme Sudoku puzzles, HRM solved 55%. What about Claude and OpenAI's models? Zero. In a 30x30 maze challenge, HRM found the optimal path in 74.5% of cases. Again, the others? Zero. Even more mind-blowing, HRM achieved all of this with just 1,000 training examples per task. No massive internet scrape. No months-long GPU burn. Guan Wang, one of HRM's creators, says you could train it to pro-level Sudoku performance in just two GPU hours. Two hours. That's not just efficient, that's absurdly efficient. Why this changes the game. This isn't just about scoring high on benchmarks. HRM's design solves deep, structural limitations in the transformer architecture itself. Here's the problem with traditional LLMs like GPT and Claude. They do a fixed number of reasoning steps per output token. Doesn't matter if the question is, what's 2 plus 2? Or, prove Fermat's last theorem. Same number of steps. And once they start producing output, they can't pause, go back, or rewrite. It's like solving a math problem by writing each number in pen without checking if you're still on the right path. HRM's two-level design means it can adjust the amount of reasoning based on the complexity of the problem. Simple? A few loops. Complex? More loops. There's even a version with reinforcement learning that lets HRM decide for itself how long to think before answering. Another huge win. HRM doesn't rely on deep backpropagation through time, a method that forces models to synchronize derivatives across multiple layers and time steps. That's memory-intensive collectuate, slow, and probably not how biological brains operate. Instead, HRM uses local gradient updates, faster, less memory-hungry, and more biologically plausible. In practice, this means lower hardware requirements, faster training cycles, and the ability to run on smaller devices, even laptops or embedded systems. Sapien, the company behind HRM, is already testing it in real-world applications. Healthcare, diagnosing rare diseases. Climate forecasting, hitting reported accuracy rates of 97%. The team includes former engineers from DeepMind, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and Elon Musk's XAI. They're openly betting on HRM's brain-inspired design to push us beyond the limits of transformer-based AI. Guan Wang summed it up. AGI is about giving machines human-level intelligence and beyond. Chain of thought prompting is just a shortcut. What we've built can think. And they're not hiding behind closed doors. The entire HRM project is open source. You can pull it from GitHub right now, train your own version, and see exactly how it works. That level of transparency is rare, especially for something this promising. Yes, HRM is still narrow. It's a reasoning engine, not a chatbot. Don't expect it to write poetry or summarize your inbox. But as a proof of concept, it's one of the strongest we've ever seen. And HRM isn't alone. Others are experimenting with new architectures. Sakana's continuous thought machines, one-bit large language models, and Google's diffusion-based reasoning. The trend is clear. The next AI leap won't come from just making models bigger. It will come from rethinking the architecture entirely. HRM is already beating models four times its size, trained on a fraction of the data, without massive pre-training runs. Unless someone suddenly pours billions into a brand new foundation model, the next big leap in AI probably won't be GPT-6, but larger. It'll be something like this. A radically new design that gives us better reasoning, faster training, and cheaper deployment. If HRM's development stays on track, 
We could soon have AI agents that don't live in giant server farms. But on your laptop, in your robot, even in your car. And they won't just be parroting the internet. They'll actually be thinking. So, what do you think? Is HRM a glimpse of the future of AGI? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read them all. Make sure to subscribe and like if you want more deep dives like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.